Republican lawmakers are bringing back a bill to legalize medical marijuana in Wisconsin. It's already legal currently in 36 states and four U.S. territories. Mary Jo Ola reports on what's being proposed and the response so far. It's time to have the conversation on the use of medical marijuana for the medicinal purposes in the state of Wisconsin. Some Republicans joined State Senator Mary Felskowski and Representative Patrick Snyder as they reintroduced a bill that would make medical marijuana legal in Wisconsin. The bill would create the Medical Marijuana Regulatory Commission to oversee the program. They will be making most of the decisions that are impacting stakeholders. Wisconsin's private sector under regulation from the commission and DOR will provide the production, the processing, laboratory testing, transportation, and dispensing. Registered patients would be able to use medicinal marijuana in certain forms, like a liquid, oil, pill, a topical product, or tincture. It would not be available to smoke. Democratic State Senator Melissa Agard believes the bill is too restrictive. In states that have legalized um, for medicinal as well as for responsible adult usage. People find their own way that they, they want to be able to have access to cannabis. It needs a lot of work, uh, but it's a step in the right direction. Megan Lau in Merrimack says medical marijuana would make a huge difference in her daughter's life. Nora is 13 and loves raising butterflies and gardening. A neurological disorder causes her to have daily seizures, painful muscle contractions, and other issues. Megan says friends in Minnesota, Illinois, and Michigan have seen medical marijuana improve their kids' symptoms. If she could get off of some prescriptions that she's on that make her a complete zombie during the day and then she's up all night, I just feel like this would be another tool. Senator Felskowski knows that not everyone in her party supports the bill right now, but says the Senate Majority Leader is more than willing to have a hearing on it. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. Now, when it comes to legalizing marijuana, border states that allow recreational marijuana sales are really cashing in. The Marijuana Policy Project says Illinois has collected $400 million in tax revenue just last year. Michigan, $200 million. The groups work to legalize marijuana across the country. It also says Wisconsin is missing out on that revenue. States that are have not legalized and are bordering legal states, they're sort of donating tax revenue to the states with legalization, right? Because their residents are crossing the border and purchasing and, um, and contributing to the tax coffers in the other states. So coming up tonight at six, what one law enforcement leader is saying about legalizing pot.